Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Lübeck, Germany, the home of Marzipan, the home of UNESCO World Heritage, Beauty and Cuteness in Germany. Lübeck is on my top 10 list of top 10 cute places to go in Germany for a reason. And today what we have for you are 10 things you should see and do when you come here to Lübeck. But anyway, the first thing you should see is, you see the Holstein Tor behind me, the, Hol the Holstein Tower, I'm sorry, Brit, yeah, the tower. That is the first thing you gotta check out, the get Holstein Gate to this city. That is one of those things you see on tourism things for Germany all around the world. Yes, that's where you have your Christmas picture right there, okay? So that's the first thing to check out. Now, the second thing you should do is when you walk around, what you need to know is you, it, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Old Town, the Altstadt. And what happens is if you're walking in, you see the road that's going in behind me, that's like modern. All you have to do is go one block either direction once you get up there and you're going to see that old world Germany that you love with the architecture and the statues and the way the buildings are made and all kinds of cool stuff. It's all inside. So go and explore UNESCO World Heritage with the spires and the churches and I'll get into these things but the architecture of the old town is just to die for. It is so beautiful. So that's the second thing you do. So first, hey, you come in, see the tower. Second, just wander the streets and take on how beautiful it is. The third thing you're going to go do when you go here is you're going to see this really, really huge church. Now you're going to see lots of spires but you're going to see one big one. I don't know if you can see it back there. That's the Marienkirche, the Marian Church. That's the third largest church in Germany. Yes, it was kind of destroyed a bit during the Second World War and actually one of the bells fell and shattered on the ground and they left it there for kind of a memorial for the people to remember the war and all these kind of things and the atrocities that happened. But the thing is you can go in there and it is a massive church and they've done a fantastic job of rebuilding it and it is well worth seeing, okay? And I put that by itself because the Marian Church is one of those huge churches in Germany you really got to check out. The fourth thing to do when you're here is go see some of the other churches. Yes, there is the actual, the, the uh, Lübeck Cathedral, the dome, which is on the, that side of town there. You can see that. But what I recommend is go to the, the St. Peter's, oh, sorry. Go to the St. Peter's Church or the St. Pietri Kirche because in that church, I mean, it's kind of, it's just white inside. But what you want to go there for that, what you want for there is to climb up the tower and get a view of the city because it really looks like you're looking back at like hundreds of years of history because Lübeck isn't, you know, for Germany is an eight, kind of an ancient town. It's you know, over a thousand years old and, and the, some of the buildings in here, the town hall built between the 13th and 15th century. I mean, it is pretty cool here, okay? But you can see that. Go to the Hospital of the Holy Ghost there, the insides, the, the, the architecture outside, but the insides of these churches throughout town and outsides are just fantastic. And that kind of goes into the number two of wandering the city and seeing these things. Now, the fifth thing you should do is probably go see the house of Lübeck's most famous resident ever, Willy Brandt. He was the chancellor here in West, West Germany. He was from here. He helped kind of bring about a kind of closer connection between the East and West. And without him, we probably wouldn't have had 1989 when the wall fell and all these kind of things. Really important person in German history or recent German history. And he grew up here. So you can go and see his house and get a better appreciation of some of the historical figures in recent German times, okay? Now the sixth thing you have to do is, hey, you know what? Lübeck is famous for marzipan. It's a candy made out of almonds. It is really something special from here, okay? So that means you should have some. And yes, there is plenty of places that sell it around town marzipan, no problem. So grab a bite, go to the museum of it, whatever, have some. You gotta do it when you are here. It's, it's, part, of the, it's part of the Lübeck visit. The seventh thing to do is you go to the, you, if you want to see some artwork and stuff like that, you go to the St. Anna Museum, which is down by the cathedral. And then if you want to see actually some of the old houses and kind of place where the workers live to see the old time kind of living quarters and shops and stuff like that, what I do is wander to kind of the northern part of the town. Wander up to Fuchtingshof and Glandorpsgang. Okay, basically this is where you have some of the, where the workers used to live here in Lübeck. It's, Lübeck was a very rich city during the times of the Hanseatic League. So they did a lot of trading here. You know, they had, you know, the salt was coming from like Lüneburg here. They traded for furs in the north all kinds of things. So this is a very rich city and there's a lot of rich architecture in there. So that's just kind of a good example of some of the good architecture. Now the ninth thing to do when you're here is you want to see the old Rathaus. Just go to the square there. Their town hall, Rathaus, 
was built between like the 12th and 15th century. And you go there and you're like, wow. It, I mean, even for this town, they look old. It's kind of a cool place to go. Go eat the Rotz Keller, a nice little thing. There's also a little Rotz, you know, a Rot House Cafe that has cheap German food there. Nice little place to check out. Also very beautiful at Christmas time. And that's one of the things. If you're in Hamburg and you want old Germany, they don't have that in Hamburg. You come to Lübeck, you get that really Christmas Weinach spirit when you do come here because it gets so done up so well and it is such a beautiful town. But going to the Town Hall Square, the Rathaus and the Rathausplatz, there is just really kind of a cool thing to do. Just to see the architecture, just like, wow, that is really cool. Now, the 10th thing you should do is if you got kids or if you don't have kids or you're just young at heart, you can go to the Puppet Museum or the Theater Figuren Museum theater figure museum so you can see puppets from around the world it's kind of a cool thing to check out if you have kids it's well worth it i just spent about an hour there enjoying it so it's well worth checking out we've seen like oh that's what the puppets were like in africa and asia and here in germany so it is kind of neat there and then i guess an extra number 11 for you if you want to go to the beach when you are here travamunda is very close by you can grab a bus to head up there and you can get to the beaches and all kinds of stuff now some of the basic stuff you should know like i said Lubeck's about 45 minutes on the Regional Express from Hamburg. Also, it's on the train that goes from Copenhagen to Hamburg, so you could drop, drop off here before you head out to Copenhagen, or if you're coming from Copenhagen, you can stop here and get to Hamburg. And you can get the Schleswig-Holstein ticket, so if you have you know, five people, it's 40 euros, and you can travel as much as you want. So we have a group here today. We bought four of those tickets, so we all could come back and forth. No problem, okay? Now, I won't lie to you, Lübeck is one of my cutest favorite little places to come see in Germany. It's not that tiny, it's like 200,000 people, but it is still well worth visiting, especially if you're in Hamburg and you need like your little German town fix. Anyway, if you wanna learn more about coming to Germany, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, and we really appreciate all of our likes and subscriptions and subscribers and everything. And we just wanna say Dankeschön to you all and have a great time here in Lübeck. If you have more stuff to see and do, please put it in the comment section below so the people that watch this can find more things to do when they do come to this beautiful cute little bigger little town city thingy okay all right well i'm off i'll see you later choose from lubeck